the first episode of Batman's A Telltale series might not be the exact Batman you're looking for, but it's the Batman game that you need. Because this is the game that manages to do something that all forms of media seem to forget. Take the emphasis away from Batman and go beneath the mask and find out who exactly Bruce Wayne is, according to your decisions. This isn't just about getting in there and punching guys in the face and bouncing around from enemy to enemy till you get your combo meter up. This is a game with split second decisions that could impact the exact outlook of the entire city of Gotham. Are you going to shake Carmine Falcone's hand and have everybody notice or are you going to be stern and have him take notice of how you're not treating him well as a guest in your house? It's these moments that had the hairs on the back of my neck standing up while I was excited to get to the next piece of conversation and see how my Bruce Wayne might differ from everybody else's. What I really enjoyed is the differences of gameplay. Of course, being a Telltale game, you know you can expect point and click adventure and this is when you're going to be doing detective work. Then switch over to Bruce Wayne where you're going to be making split second decisions on all your conversations, really pushing the envelope of who this Bruce Wayne is. Offset that with Batman, who is of course going to get in there, and if you miss some of these shots, you're going to see that reflected when Bruce Wayne is beaten up. Every single decision you seem to do matters, and it's really important that you don't mess up. Now, of course, being a Telltale game, people are going to want to know, how does the game handle? Because I've made it a point numerous times in the past on our comic book podcast and Control Breakers, our video game podcast, to talk about the Telltale engine and how it's dated and sometimes even glitches on the most powerful of PCs. I'm here right now to tell you that out of the entire time I played this game, this is twice through, I haven't seen any of that. There was only one instance and it quickly caught up with exactly what I was doing. And this was doing a prolonged session of more than 2 hours and 15 minutes. So if you're worried about those micro stutters that we would get in previous games from them, worry not because they're not here. And I guess the biggest complaint I can make about this game is the voice acting. Something about it just doesn't match with certain scenes, but overall, it is pretty damn well done. Troy Baker as Batman is pretty great, but I definitely like his Bruce Wayne a lot more than his Batman. The story itself is going to have you deciding how exactly you are going to help Harvey Dent ascend to the rank of mayor. And this is where the political intrigue in Gotham is going to come into play. Now, without spoiling too much, you will get familiar faces from Batman's history that pop up here and there and references to things that might be directly from the recent comic books and I definitely enjoy these and there are plenty of easter eggs to be had for fans of the Dark Knight. The graphics are absolutely beautiful doing this cel shaded look while mixing it with familiarity from Batman to build their own universe and their own Gotham that feels real yet it's completely new. Love it. The first episode of the Batman Telltale series left me wanting more, more so than almost any of their previous games and what it's done is make me care about Bruce Wayne, something that no other game and even the movies forget that he is a character and a giant part of Batman. And with that, I'm just going to say it right now, the first episode is a 9.5 out of 10, a must play for any Batman fan, a must play for comic book fans, and I cannot wait to get my hands on the next episodes. It is that good. Play it. So if you guys are enjoying CBC content and you play video games, you guys might be interested in knowing that we actually run a video gaming channel and a podcast called Control Breakers, which you guys can check out in the description below or by searching it up on YouTube. Podcasts, game reviews, and news topics on all the latest gaming news that are uh, sure to start some fanboy wars. So check it out, guys, and let me know what you think.